Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We share and rejoice and be glad in it. Holy Spirit, I know you as a master teacher, so I step back that you may step forward and you would teach us the word. I thank you right now, Father, for everyone being attentive. Thank you, Father, for allowing hearts to receive, Father, your word of instruction. I thank you for having me to us and you too. So we bless you in advance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, amen. 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 Place, 
we get the same broken result. So we have to be willing to face our brokenness. You know, like, you got to face, you have to face, uh, let me say it like this, you got to face your problems. Because problems don't disappear because you have new information. You have to assess why the problem exists in the first place. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's going to be a little quiet. Now, no, I, I, have, I have to understand that it is impossible for me to change and do better when I'm still in a less better place in my mind. Yeah. That's why I don't believe in New Year's resolution. I don't believe in them whatsoever. I don't believe in them whatsoever because the bottom line is, New Year's resolutions are to make us feel better about all the other resolutions we didn't keep. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. So we come up with something new, we, this new saying, uh, it shouldn't be a declaration, but declarational stuff that we actually do. Yeah. So I cannot put it on that level. All right. So we come up with these new saying, you know, hey, you know, you know child, I'm going to lose this attitude this year, but, but you still have not dealt with the pain and trauma of uh, three years ago uh, that caused you to be like you are. Yeah. So you come up with, I'm going to change to do this, I'm going to change to be like this to make you feel better about what you won't face. Yeah. And yet, we think that we are creating a new pattern. But it's impossible to create a new pattern from an old place that you still remain in. Is anybody here today? Yes, no, I got no. I have to. I have to understand. I have to understand that. So when we're looking at breaking a pattern of procrastination, I have to understand. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, you can't break something that you won't face that exists. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I, I have to understand that. So we so we try to change using the same tools. Sometimes new tools. But with the old same mind. Yeah. The old same mind. So I can give you new information for to give you the perfect plan in order to succeed in life. Yeah. But you're still using it with an old mind. Yeah. An old mind that tells you it won't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An old mind that tells you the same things don't happen at, like last time. Yeah. Hello, somebody. All right, so when we look at Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, we say, Now to him who is able to do exceeding abundant above all we can ever ask or think according to the power that worked within us, it won't work because we're still in a broken place. Jesus. Although God is able, that is, yes. God is able to do exceedingly, yes. abundantly, above all we can ever ask or think. God is able, that will not change. But the question is, are you able? Yeah. Because if you and I are still entertaining old past stuff, then we're not able. For the walk in the exceedingly abundant above all we can ever ask or think. We're not able because we are still reliving the same experience. Yeah. So that's why it's so easy to relive last month. We say something different is going to happen, but nothing different happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last month repeats itself yeah. because you won't face why last month exists. Okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I got to see that. No, I have to understand that. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. All right. Let me, let me explain it like this. It says, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Which shall feed you, watch the text, with knowledge and understanding. All right, first of all, I say, I'm going to give you pastors after my heart. Pastors that have my heart. Who are going to feed you with knowledge, but not just knowledge, and understanding. Uh -huh. yes. They're going to have my heart, and they're going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah. Other words, he's saying, wait a minute. They're going to give you the stuff that you really don't desire, but it's going to allow you to grow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Ain't nobody talking. Amen. So you may not shout Amen. today. Because so I'm giving you knowledge and understanding from the heart of God. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yes, 
No, I have to understand that. No, no, man, no, no. He, he, this is what he said. Jeremiah says it. And I'll give you pass according to my heart. Yeah. It is not the will of God that his children be broke all the time. Amen. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about your inside. Amen. Amen. That is not the will of God. Because he do not want us to reproduce brokenness. Yes. Amen. Jesus. The same habit that's not working. Yes. Hello, it's yes. quiet, Mac. Yes. See the rat running, licking yes. ice. Yes. No, I got to understand it. No, why? Because what I'm doing is I am teaching people around me yes. how to look good but look terrible on the inside. Yes. And I stamp it with a scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, yeah he's your shepherd, but he don't want you like that. Yes. Hello? Amen. No, he wants you for to be an example. Yeah. So others will be drawn to the life of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yes, yes. All right, okay, I got to get this. God works in patterns and systems. Turn there and say, God works, God works in patterns, in patterns and, systems. and systems. Now, I have to understand that that's very, very critical. It's very, very important to understand that God works in patterns and systems. He works in patterns and systems. And you and I have to understand, we work in patterns and systems. Yeah. 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 We get up every day, we have a routine. Yeah. That's a pattern and a system. Uh -huh. We get up every day and we have a routine. The question is, is our routine like God? Wow. Is it according to God's pattern and system, though? No. Because it's very, very possible for me to have a routine that God is nowhere to be found in. Oh, Hello. Oh, I, I got to grab that. Just because it appears it's working does not mean it's God. That's are you still getting the same results that you've been getting the last three, four, five years? Jesus. Hello? Are you still talking about, I'm going to change, child? Yes. Are you still talking about, I'm going to study more? Are you still talking about, I'm going to pray more? Are you still talking about, you know, girl, I'm still trying to get over, such, such. Are you still, is that still your talk? Jesus. Are you still planning to write out the business plan? Are, are you still planning? Are you still planning? Because you've been planning for the last seven years yeah. and you have not written it yet. Yeah. Are you still planning to have a great marriage? Are you still planning to have yourself in a place when God sends the right one, you will be ready? Yeah. Or are you still yeah. talking? Jesus. Hello? Because if that's the case, ma'am, sir, you have an incorrect pattern and system that's not working. Jesus. It is not the pattern and system that God has ordained for your life. Hello. Amen. Come on, come on. If you are still getting the same headache at the same time of the month, you've got a problem yes. that you got to address. Yeah. It is not going away by itself. Yeah. Amen. All right. Are we here? Okay. Let's go to Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. Let's look at it. God works in patterns in what? Systems. All right. Come on, Claire. He works in patterns in what? Systems. Right. He works in patterns and systems. So uh, Genesis chapter 8, verse 22 says, King James Version, while the earth remained, watch the text, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. That's a pattern and that's a system. Yes, sir. But watch now, God said it will always be as long as the earth remains. So as soon as the earth does not remain, the pattern in the system is now obsolete. It will not be in place. Right. That means, watch now, that means, that means, that means when the earth ends, when it expires, when something expires, the pattern and system no longer work. So if you're still trying to use the same pattern and system that got you delivered 10 years ago, that expired. That's not going to work now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Are y'all here today? Yes, if the same, if you still use the pattern, the same pattern system, when your spouse get mad with you or you get upset, you go buy them something, that's not gonna work. That ain't spy. Ain't nobody gonna talk. Yes. Nobody's talking yes. now. All right, okay, same system, pattern system. When you get to feeling bad about yourself, you go shopping and all that kind of stuff and whatnot, that won't work now. That ain't spy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You can go shopping, but you're 
still feel lousy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why? Because God's saying it's time to mature. Amen. Amen. Oh, Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Yes. It's time to mature. It's time to be what He has ordained you to be. Yeah, God. Yes. It's time to be about it instead of talking about it. Yes. Are y'all here today? Amen. We say, while well, earth remains, seed time and harvest. Seed time and harvest. It has a pattern and a system. A pattern and a system. It has a purpose. Yeah. Seed time and harvest has a purpose. Yeah. It has a purpose. It needs cold and heat in order for seed time and harvest to work. It needs summer and winter in order for seed time and harvest to work. Uh -huh. There's a time to plant. There is a time to reap. Yeah. Come on, there's yeah. a time for to put in the work. There's a time for to enjoy the labor of your work. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Come on, there's a pattern and system. What God trying to get us to see? He's trying to get us to see when we learn his patterns and system, nothing in life can get a hold of us. Amen. Amen. Oh, this is some Amen. kind of juicy Amen. right Amen. here. Why? Everything in God is purpose yes. to increase. Yes. Uh-oh. All right, to multiply and expand. Everything in God is purpose to increase. To multiply and expand. If you're in a relationship, God ordained it for to multiply and increase. That's quiet. No, I, if you're in business, God ordained it to multiply and increase. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, God ordained it to multiply and increase. Amen. Hello, Amen. you ought to have more discernment by now. Yeah. Amen. Because you should be multiplying yeah. and increasing. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Amen. No, no. If you if you have a family, you all supposed to be multiplying and increasing. Yeah. Well, child, you know everything don't grow. Well, guess what? Uh, that's a lie because the earth was void yeah. and empty. Yes, right. Amen. Talk to me. Yes, and God filled it. Yes, amen. Hello. Amen. It was empty and God what? He filled it. Yes, Everything in God is always about multiplication amen. and expanding. Amen. God expands everything. The sea was empty and God filled it. Y'all yes, yes, hear that? The sky was empty and God hung stars up there. Because yes, God filled it. Yes. Oh, y'all yeah. Talk to your boy yeah. this morning. You're going to be bougie or what? Yeah. No, I got to understand. Everything in God is all about multiplying and expanding. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. That is his purpose. Yeah. For us to multiply and expand. God does not allow grocery stores to open up just to serve five people. That's right. That would yeah. be silly. Amen. Hello, somebody. He does not allow people for to open up car dealerships for to service 10 people. That's right. That would be crazy. Amen. Wouldn't make any sense. He does not open up post offices to serve seven people. Yes. That would be crazy. Yes. That's not making it okay. 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 Yes. That, that yes. would not make any sense. God does not allow farmers for to produce harvest and crops yes. for three people. Yes. That would not make yes. any doggone sense. God does not allow two individuals to get married yes. just for it to be them two. Yes. That would make no sense. Yes. Tell me you a Christian and you don't supposed to increase. That would make no sense. Amen. Are y'all here today? Yes. That's what I got to understand. Do not buy to the lie. Well, girl, it's going to be all right, girl. You know everybody go through that. The devil That's is right. a liar. Yeah. No, no, everybody does not go through that. Yeah. Oh no, girl, you gonna be all right. Oh man, you know, man, you know, it's just how it is, man. You man, that's just how life is. No, that's not how that's not no. That's not how life is. If you get in God's patterns and systems, you will find out life is great. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah. No, I have to understand that. Watch this. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Okay, well, I got I got a grab. Everything that God places in is meant to grow. But the only way, watch now, stuff is going to grow, we got to make sure that we're always facing things that are broken. All right. We can have things in place, like I say, systems, that used to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, y'all ready? Before, before, when your money was funny, 
All right, and you got paid Friday. You can write a check on Thursday, probably Wednesday. You can write the check on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Hey, on Clinton yeah, Friday. That's right. Probably Monday. Yeah. Write it now. <laughs> Nobody talk to me. That's now. right. I guarantee you write it now and clear the night. That's right. Go ahead. Hello, somebody. Why? Because it's electronic now. Amen. Nobody's talking to you for No, it's electronic now. Yes. So that old Watch this pattern and system yeah. has expired now. Yeah. That, won't, that, won't, yeah. that, won't, that won't work now. That, that, that won't work now. Yeah. So if you try and use that in your now, then you will get bad results. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps you're still trying to use an expired pattern and yeah. system in your life that you're calling current yeah. when it's really past. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh. Amen. Are y'all here yes, sir. today? Yes, no, no, like, no. Before, you could ignore stuff and it looked like it went away. Yeah. But now, you cannot ignore stuff because it don't go away. That's right. It stays right up in your face talking Amen. to you. Amen. Come on. Yeah. It stays right up in your face talking to you. Yeah. Say, oh, no, you won't face me. Do I'm going to mess with you every single day of your life. I'm going to keep messing with you every single day of your life, reminding you, you going to face me. Yeah. Come, on. Yeah. Come on, somebody. That's why you say it right now. No, no, no. Because you going fa you to face me. You going to face me today. I'm going to meet you every single day. You going to face me today. Uh-huh. That's why relationships don't expand right now or multiply, whatever the case may be. Why? Because it's saying, you're going to face me now. You're going to face me now. You're going to learn how to be real friends. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. Now, you're going to learn to be honest. Yes. Okay. You're going to learn to be transparent. Come on. Yes. Okay. And quit making yourself up to be something that you're not. You're going to go ahead and admit, you know what? I don't have nothing together. Come on. So we're going to be friends. We're just going to be friends like I am. Come on. See, see, see. See, that's too, that's too real. See? No, no, we, no, 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 I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not making up no more. Not make, uh -uh. What you see, what you get. Yeah. yeah. Right? No. I'm not trustworthy whatsoever. Yeah. I'm never going to be on time. I'm just going to tell you now. All right? Today, he called me a certain time. I'm proud to sleep or not even looking at my phone. Yeah. But that, that's me, though. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. But I'm, I'm working on it though. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Come on, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Let me mess with somebody. You know, I'm not going to iron this shirt. I'm going to put it on. <laughs> and I'm going to wait. I'm going to put it right on. Come right yeah. up in this mug. It's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. If you wanted to iron, you should have had this mug. <laughs> what you see, what you get. Yeah. <laughs> what you see, what you get. You understand? Yes, sir. So I'm going to try and change me. God's going to change me. That's right. Uh-oh, see? Yeah. You don't like that. See, but you don't like that. Jesus. You don't like that, though. See, I'm not delaying God any longer. That's wrong. Come on. Yeah. Dude, that would be procrastination. That's what yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm being honest so God can work in my life. Yes, Come on, talk to you, boy. Yes. No, no, I'm being honest with myself first, and then those who want to be in my life, I'm being honest with you. And then you can make the decision whether you're going to stay or not. Yeah, right. If you stay fine, if you don't, I'll get over you. Yeah, right. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Are you talking? What's going on in this house? That's right. No, 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 no. I'm going to say, that's how we break patterns and systems that don't work. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm stepping outside of the line and I'm saying, no, uh -uh. my life is worth more than this right here. I'm not living a lie any longer. Okay, okay. I'm not living a lie any longer. All right? What you see, and what you get, take that and say, what you see is what you get. Amen. Now watch this, y'all ready? And whoever God has ordained for my life, they're going to be okay with that. So if the person is not okay with that, maybe they're not ordained for your life. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Y'all all right? Yes. Can they some all right? Yeah. All right. So so all right. So uh, my insurance agent calls me up. 
about a month ago and whatnot. He says, he said, Ron, we need to get together. It's time for you to renew your policy. All right, okay. I'm talking about like uh, house insurance now. Okay. House insurance, not life insurance. I'm, I'm not going to scare y'all with this. <laughs> you know, we don't like it. No, people don't like talking about dying. I don't know everybody going to die. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, yes. all right. So he's like, no, he's like, um, he said, no, he said, uh, uh, for the rewrite, no, we got to review it. See if anything has changed. Yeah. Because he's going to renew it. He's right. renewing it. We're talking about renewal today. Yes. All right. He's like, so uh, we need to renew it. So he's like, we do this every five years. Oh, man. He's like, yeah, you're going on your fifth year. Oh, boy. Oh, it's been five years already. Yeah. Wow. Oh, gee. Hey, Pastor, you know, I've been getting 27 years. It don't even seem like 27 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. But clap me. Yeah. All right. Okay. All yeah, right. You got to prompt people to clap you. Yeah. All right. 27 years. That's a long time you've been there. Amen. Amen. Folks, they didn't get them two months. Yeah. Amen. Ain't nobody. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm talking about church people. I ain't talking about the word. You say, yeah, two months. I'm like, I'm through. Why? I got somebody else. Jesus. It's like the one that God said. Well, you said when you went to say I do, you yes, said it was the one. Who changed their mind? It won't God. Yes, but anyway, nonetheless. Yes. All right. But so we got yeah, 27 years yes. this year. Yes. It don't even seem like 27 years. Yes. It seems like 27 days to me. Yes. 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 All right. Okay. Yes. I mean, it don't seem like that long to me. I'm yes. so serious about it. It really don't seem long to me. Yes. So he say five years, I'm like, whoa. Five years time, you need a new house. Right. Right. I don't want a new wife though, like 27 years. I don't want a new wife though. I ain't making that point, Brother Cooper. I ain't making that point. Because see, we'll see this. Okay, okay, okay. This for people who are naive and think. See, first of all, I'm 27 years, I know what I have. See, I don't know you like that. That's right. I don't care how good you look. I don't know you. That's right. And I don't know if everything on you real is starting. Hello, somebody. Right. Yes. I don't know if you clean. See, I'm real clean. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This certain way you got to live, you're going to live with me. Yeah. Yeah. So you might get kicked down the first week. <laughs> That's not going to work. Yeah. You understand? Know you have to pick up behind yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I need you to be going to keep stuff straight. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to smell good all the time. <laughs> Uh, I'm have maintenance like that. Yeah. No, you, you everybody got to be right. Yeah. Everybody ain't ready for that kind of life. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So <laughs> I ain't trying to trade her in. <laughs> oh, crafty, she's not trying to trade me in. <laughs> no need, because I'm going right with her. <laughs> so he says, all right, he says, it's been five years, Ron. He's like, so we got to get together. Man. All right, so I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, I don't like going through all that. I'm like, hey, everything good. Why, why review it? It's working. Yeah. That's how your life is. Yeah. <laughs> why review it? Everything's working. You don't want to really face what you kind of know ain't working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now I got to look at everything I really don't want to look at. I'm like, well, it's five years. I'm smelling by Bobby Miller House anyway, so. Just keep what we have. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, that's not good because something could happen that could affect where you at now. Yeah. All right, I, I get that. Then he shows this moment. He's like, yeah, uh, I, we talk about everything and whatnot. He tell me my stuff gonna go up. Yeah. I wasn't excited about that part. Yeah. See, I kind of knew that was the aim. Yeah. 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 I'm real as like yeah. that. Like I kind of knew. Like, okay, that's the aim. Yeah. You get ready to raise my race. Yeah, yeah. Because right. after five years, stuff done changed. Yeah. Yeah. So I need more coverage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So maybe that's why we won't review our life. Because we know it's going to cost us more. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Am I preaching all yes, right? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, watch this now. So we get everything wrapped up, and then he throws the last one on. He said, oh, yeah, Ron, I need to send me new pictures. Bruh, you got the picture. I haven't changed nothing. Yeah. Five years, I ain't changed nothing on the outside. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. I've changed nothing. Yeah. Right? So when I'm looking at the pictures, I'm like, okay, so then secretary, because I didn't see the women for the last Yeah. So, so I didn't do it. Come on, I know about the no So, you know, so the secretary emailed me and like, hey, uh, Mr. Williams, we really need those pictures. 
<laughs> nice she can be. I said, okay, I'm going to do it right now. I ain't doing it right now. <laughs> so the next day, I don't like nobody around me. I said, the next day, I went out and said, man, let me go on and take these pictures. So Chris down, I go out here, I take the pictures. And when I'm taking the pictures, they, they be knowing what they're doing. So when I'm taking the pictures, I'm like, man, hey, man, I remember baby when I was saying, we was going to do X, Y, Z. That's been five years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now, we're going to take the other pictures. We ain't done nothing. Yeah. Right? So listen, you know, everything keeps it up. Like, yeah. We ain't done nothing. You know, but I look at his house like, so everything looks just like it did. We're pretty boring, though. Yeah. You yeah. ain't got to do no work on the side. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah, that's right. So I'm like, okay, the bright side. Everything still is good. Yeah. The not so bright side. Man, you ain't done nothing. You see, you look good. Y'all all right? Y'all yeah. laugh, huh? Yeah. That's how your life is. Yeah. That's, That's it. When God puts you in a place where you got to really face your life, you see the good side and the not so good side. Yeah. To where you like, man, hey, okay, yeah. all right, I don't kiss no more. Yeah. Except yeah. when somebody make me mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not y'all. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, I know the pastor didn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, all right. I'm still going to him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Matthew. So watch this out. <laughs> Matthew, man, laughing. I can't believe he said it on air. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't press the pastor. On the wrong day. All right. Now, so, y'all good? Y'all good? <laughs> All right, so then, you know, on the, you know, not so good side, you like, but no. I said I was going to forgive people more. Yeah. Blew that one. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 I'm not laughing at that. Blew that one. Because I'm still holding on to what Roger did three years ago. Yeah. I won't still kill him. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead, man. No, no, Chris, no, no, I want to go back to sixth grade and jack somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I know I need to break that pattern of the system because that's not helping. Yes, yeah, right. But I'm saying I got to face, y'all, y'all get it? I got to face that, though, in order for me to quit procrastinating and changing. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yes, sir. Right? Okay, so, okay, so. I got to be willing to look at my life and understand, hold on, my life needs to be renewed. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Okay, okay, y'all good? Yeah, yeah. All right, what's the pattern? Let me hear I get a little ways there. A pattern is the regular and repeated way of doing something. That's all the pattern is. Y'all right? Yes, the regular and repeated way of doing something. It's how you do something all the time. It's a regular and repeated way of how you do something. All right, you get up every day, you get your toothbrush, all right, you rinse it carefully, because I like to rinse my toothbrush. Everybody don't like to rinse that. I like my bristles to be soft. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't like hard bristles. That's right. Put the toothpaste on it, it's like, you feel like, you know, it's a paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like it's a paintbrush. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, nah. y'all yeah. brush your teeth, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Y'all scared me. I'm, I'm standing there like, y'all, do they put that to you? I'm bringing a scope here next to <laughs> All right? All right, so, all right, y'all all all right? All right, so, all right, so it's a regular, what? It's a regular and repeated way of doing something. So, you know, get up, all right, give me two breaths, right? Rinse it, give me two pays. I got a certain kind of two pays I like. Yeah. Put it on, boom, all right? I got a pattern. That's my pattern. Yes. All right, what's the system? It's the principles and procedures of how something is done. Uh -huh. All right. All right. A system is principles and procedures of how something is done. So I know there's a certain way I got to brush my teeth right. and my tongue. Yes, right. That's a system. Yeah. Right? Because if you don't brush your tongue, you just brush your teeth and don't brush your tongue, yeah. your breath still be stinking. Yeah. Yeah. Because your tongue gonna look like clapper. <laughs> if your tongue is not pink, it's nasty. You gonna learn today, ain't you? You gonna learn today? Y'all all right? Yeah. Now it's about a system. So if you finish and your tongue's still white, you got a wrong system. That system not working. Ain't about. To Go ahead. <laughs> Are y'all learning? Because yeah. I most people learn. Yeah. Right? I couldn't be real deep. And you'd be like, the pastor really did a nice 
nice sermon today. <laughs> uh, give you knowledge and understanding. What's that? All right? So, you know, so the system is, all right, is how you're going to brush your teeth. I think that's, a, you know, something good to you. All right? How you going to brush your teeth? Make sure, you know, you want to get your uppers, right. get your downers, yeah. get your sides. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. You want to use a certain kind of toothpaste. Yes, right. Come on, Pastor. I ain't come for this. Well, leave. Okay? <laughs> Listen. All right? So what's it? All right, so you want to use a certain kind of toothpaste. Now, with Pastina, when we couldn't do no better and whatnot, I would get that A as a dollar. Yeah. If you still use A, it's okay. That's but right. then we get that baking soda to go with it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It don't matter All right? You know what we get. Uh, a and a uh, close-up. Yeah. You can't all the fine close-up for a dollar. Yeah, that's right. I still go to the dollar to refine it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, oh, I say, hey, close up. That, that was our two favorite toothpaste. That's all we good for. Yeah. Yeah. But our breath didn't stink. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we use, watch this, y'all, right? Yes, sir. All right, so we get that baking soda, put that baking soda with it. Yeah. And whatnot. Now it makes it expensive. Yeah. Right. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. You paid $3 for yours, I paid a dollar for mine. Because yeah. everybody, you know, who cook and kind of old school, right. have baking soda at the house. Right. So I didn't have to run out and purchase baby so it already has them in the house. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, if you open it up, keep your refrigerator, keep it fresh. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's a yeah. system. Yes, yeah. that's right. All right? Okay. So now, so we see a system is what? Principles and procedures of how something is done. Uh -huh. All right? So when we look at God's patterns and systems, all right, it's how we do things every single day according to the way that God has planned for it to be done but to get the best result. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. We are taught through the word of God we are to pray without ceasing. All right, that's a pattern. We are to pray <clears throat> without, ce without ceasing, without ceasing. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. We're never supposed to quit praying. Supposed to always pray. All right? But then he said something come about fasting and praying. Yeah. By fasting and praying. All right? I'm supposed to keep praying, yeah. but there is a certain procedure depending on what's going on in life that will require that I add fasting to it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yes, All right? So just because my praying without ceasing has been working, watch this now, it does not mean that that is the same pattern that's going to work for me every day of my life. Yeah, all right. All right. I got to be willing to adjust as God shows me how to adjust. That's why I got to learn his patterns and his systems. Amen. Are y'all here today? Yes, sir. All right, what's renewal? Renewal is to make new again. All right? <clears throat> to restore to freshness. Yeah. To recreate. To rebuild. To begin again. That's good, yeah. yeah. Now, when something is renewed, you're making it new again. All right, so I'm saying my mind life needs to be new again. It needs to be recreated. How I've been thinking needs to be recreated. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have adapted to the patterns of the culture that I am around. Yeah. <clears throat> so the current culture says, oh, man, you can do that tomorrow. Yeah. Lord tell you, you better do that today. But if you adapt to the current culture that's around you, you will keep putting stuff off until tomorrow. Yes. And how I many you know tomorrow never comes? That's right. Because now something, up, something else comes up. Yes. You're like, no, nah, I need to do this. And like, yeah, do this. That's right. Right? That's right. Or if my current culture around me tells me, hey, just do what you feel. It's okay. Now, according to Romans, what you're doing is you are allowing your life to be led without thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not using your mind. Yeah, you are allowing the culture around you for the thing for you. Yeah. Hello. Right. All right. So if you do what you feel, then you're going to always be tempted to procrastinate, yeah. to delay what God tells you and I that we're supposed to do. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah, right. All right. Let's look at mine. What's mine? Uh, quick definition, the seat of thought and reasoning. Mine is the seat of thought and reasoning. Mine is the seat of thought and reasoning. All right? It's the seat. It's the chair. Yeah. Where you think and where you reason stuff out. Yeah. 
All right? So if you still have an old mind of how you don't think things through, then your thought pattern and reasoning is going to be off. Yes. Yes. Are you here today? Yes, sir. All right, I got to understand that. I got to make sure now that I understand that my mind is the seat of reasoning. It's the seat of thought. All right? It's where I decide everything in life. Yes. Yes. I decide in my mind whether I'm going to have a good week or not. I decide in my mind whether I'm going to make sure that my relationship with Jesus Christ is going to grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I decide that. Yeah. Nobody else decides that for me. Yeah. I decide it for myself. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yes, All right, what's life? Life is the period between birth and death. Hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the period between <laughs> birth and death. Yeah. Amen. That's what life is. It's Period between birth and death yeah. is a period between birth and death. Yes. So you're born and you're going to die. Yes. Amen. Yeah. It's a period though. Yeah. You're born going to die. Yeah. <laughs> you see it? You see it, Chelsea? Yes, you're born. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey, everybody have <laughs> Got it? Yes, so although I let her know, 
<laughs> when I get there, I'm going to leave that like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, right. no flesh is allowed. Yes, That's right. Amen. Got it? So my ain't brother do, I want to get every second in now. Because I know when this over, this is over. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Amen. Okay, so when I went procrastinate, because I used to have a bad attitude, sister. <laughs> I used to be something. I was something. Like, I could be like, you know, not talk to you for like a month. Yeah. I'd be like, I ain't talking to you. Teresa just as sweet. We ain't talk to you. Yeah. Now I'd be like, man, I can be that like that. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because when I leave here, I ain't gonna see her like that. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. So what it does? It keeps me from procrastinating on change. It makes me be like, no, I'm going to always change for the better. Yes. Why? Because God say I'm supposed to increase and multiply and expand. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? My love for her is supposed to always grow. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yeah. It's supposed to always grow. Yeah. That's what God meant. So I have to have, you know, I have to have an aim. Yeah. Everybody have a different aim. Mine is death. So when I see death, I'm like, shoot, I know you're getting close. Sure, let me make sure I ain't procrastinating when it comes to girl. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Amen. Are y'all here today? Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, I right, don't be too old on me. All right. Yes, all right. Yes, all right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, so you got to have your own aim. Yeah. That's going to cause your life to be renewed. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yes, all right. Let's go to Isaiah 43 19. Look what it says. The living Bible. Are y'all all right? Yes, I got to see. I got to understand. That before, this is what God told him. He said, look, he said, son, don't tell them how to break no fast. Don't tell them yet. He said, because you tell them how to break it. But if they don't realize the need for a new beginning, they ain't going to break no fast. Yeah. 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 They're going to have a lot of good information and still won't change. My God. Jesus. He said, here, give your pastors <laughs> have his heart. And he's going to teach you knowledge and understanding. Yeah. So you may, COVID may not hit the organ today, but you will get better. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Are y'all here today? Amen. And he probably like, man, I'm glad. Dead, 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 you can break the day. Yeah. All right, verse 19. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's that? But forget all that. Look, look what's that? But forget all that. I like, I like the way they talk. Yeah. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. You know what he said? He be like, uh-uh. Forget about all the procrastination you ever done before. He said, forget all of that. Yeah. And there's no need to try and go back and redo something. Yeah. Okay? All right? If, if you have procrastinated this long, just leave it be. Yeah. Somebody like, no, but I didn't tell them that. You just keep listening. For I'm going to do a brand new thing. Yeah. That is. I'm going to do something far better with your life than what I was going to do. Hello, yes, I'm doing a brand new thing. Yes, so I don't care how long you have procrastinated in your life, regardless of what area it's been in, he said, forget about all that. Yeah. He said, because you can't change that. You can't make up for the last 10 years. Yeah. This is good here. Yeah. You cannot make up, see, that's, that's what get us stuck. You're trying to make up for the last 10 years of why you ain't do stuff. I'm not gonna still not gonna do all of it. Yes. So he says, wait a minute, for I'm going to do a brand new thing. Who is that? See, I have already begun. Yeah. Uh oh. He says, see, I have already begun. This is what he told me through here. He said, tell them if you're talking about it, that means it's already begun. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Lord, he says, I did oh, today. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't you see it? Did he come back, brother? Don't you see it? Because he knew y'all would be all deep. Don't you see it? Right in front of your face. Right here. <laughs> Don't you see it? He says it's already be good. Because you start to look at your life like, I got to tighten up. Although you don't tighten up. But you're starting to see in life, I need to tighten up. I need to do some stuff better. I need to change some stuff. I need to make some changes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't keep saying the same thing and not do it. Yeah, that's right. Look what he says, y'all. He says, 
I will make a road through the wilderness of the world for my people to go home and create rivers for them in the desert. He said, what he said? He said dry places. Yeah. Yeah. He said all the dry places of your life, he's like, uh-uh, I'm going to water all them. Because, see, when you're dry in areas, it'll keep you in procrastination. Because yes, yes. you dry. Yeah. Come on, somebody, you ever talk to somebody? They just say, it's dry. You're like, I'm getting off this phone because you <laughs> are stealing my energy. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girl, I got to go. What's, what's, what's wrong? Somebody beat it in. Oh, I'm getting off this phone. You are not fixing to wear me out today. I can't do it today. <laughs> yeah, all right. yes, I'm not, uh uh, no, I'm hanging up this phone. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because you dry. Y'all yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's that? All right, this is getting a mess for It says, forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old, over old history. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Why you keep going over what you have not done? Yeah. Has it helped you? No. no. Okay. Let's look at it. Let's address it. Let's deal with it. Yeah. And what I always say, and let's keep it moving. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, <laughs> come on now. That's right. I, I need to see that. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Now, I need to look at it. Forget about what's happening. Don't keep going over all this. Forget about the vacation that you didn't go on. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Because you blew the money. Yeah. Go ahead. No, let's address it. Yeah. Let's look at it. Okay, this is what happened. All right, okay, let's put some things in place to keep this from happening again. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's how you move procrastination right away. Yeah. And you allow the experience to be renewed. Yeah. Recreate, yeah. new again. Y'all yeah. okay. see that thing? Yeah. All right, I gotta see that. Who it said? Be alert, be present. Now that's, that's what I like. Be alert, be present. Yeah. Okay, you need to be present. You talking to your child, you don't need to be in a million places. Come on. You need to be present. Yes. Come on. You talking to your loved ones, you need to be present. Yeah. 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 Because they're talking to you. Right. And what they say, it does matter. Yeah, right. Well, Pastor, they won't talk about that. You don't be talking about that much either. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but I still Amen. listen to you. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> I still listen yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. So don't you dare run out here talking. Right, Pastor, they won't talk about that much. You don't be talking about that much. Yeah. I'm so patient that I listen to you. Yeah. Go ahead. They say, if you pass but it's hard, feed you knowledge and understand it. Y'all are right. Y'all are like, sure. Pastor told me off today. See, another one. We know somebody who say that. You know? <laughs> like, that's going to be off today. We be laughing about that thing. Boy. He told me off today. I know he got me straight. <laughs> so your pastor told y'all off today. I got y'all straight today. Nobody <laughs> said, look at him. Let y'all go. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Yeah. Don't you see it? It's bursting out. Don't you see it? It's bursting out. Don't you see it? Yeah. It's bursting out. All around you is bursting out. Yeah. This is how you know it's bursting out. Because you keep seeing what you're doing ain't working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's your sign. Yeah. It's bursting out. Yeah. It's allowing you to understand, man, uh -uh, this is not working. I got to do something different. I got to hurt. I got to get my ass together. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, That's your sign. It's bursting out. Yeah. Yeah. The way it said, it says, there it is. Boy, I love this thing. There it is. There it is. He wait there every day. So there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spam yeah. calling you. You think it's the bill collector? There it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it's telling you? Pay them bills off. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so it's not spam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What is that? Pay your bills off. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of the debt. Oh, the man nothing but that what? Love. Uh -huh. I, I'm making that road through the desert. Rivers in the badlands. Y'all hear today? Yeah. All right, let me close with this. Liz Chase says this. Hope is not pretending that troubles don't exist. Yeah. It is the trust that they will not last forever. Boy, this is a good closer right here. Yes, 
that hurts will be healed and difficulties overcome. Yeah. It is faith that a source of strength and renewal lies within to lead us through the dark and to the sunshine. Wow. My yes, God, yes, that is good yes, preaching right there, is yes, not? Yes, is that not? Yes, yes, I'm going to close with this. Oh, there was a uh, son was talking to his dad, son was talking to his dad and everything. And uh, they have a nice little conversation. Tell me, they just talking, man. They been fishing and all that kind of stuff. So they done had a good day. I mean, sun is shining, everything. Chris and I is just lovely. I mean, this is a perfect day. Not one cloud in the sky. No, I mean, no clouds in the sky. It is a beautiful day. I mean, it looks like almost like a picture. It's a beautiful day. And the dad and the son, man, they have had the time of their life because they haven't always been able to spend quality time together. I mean, they, they spend time together, but they want quality time. You have been in life, but at some point you desire to spend time with, but they want quality So then God, he makes a way out of nowhere. Hey, hey, for y'all to spend some time together, it seems like it is the perfect day. It's like you don't even want the day to end. Yeah, yeah. Because the day is so perfect. Yeah. Well, dad and the son, they get ready to wrap up the day and they're looking in the cooler, you know, and the son looks at me like, Dad, man, we caught a lot today. Proud dad looks at him and says, Yeah, but you caught the most. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, son looking at me, Yeah, but daddy, you taught. Yeah. They keep going back and forth. He's like, Yeah, son, but you listen. But yet, Dad, it's because of your experience. Yeah. <laughs> they go going back and forth. So then, the son, he has this question. He said, like, Dad, his, his dad said, yes, sir. He says, can I ask you a question? He said, yeah. He said, suppose if you was hanging from a cliff, would you rather have strong faith in a weak road or weak faith in a strong road? Dad, which one would you like? He said, because Dad, I know whatever answer you give me, I know it's going to be the right one. Because yeah. Dad, you know you're my hero. Dad, he looks at him, tears begin to form in his eye. He looks at his son. He says, son, it's very easy for me to answer the question. He said, I'd rather have the strong rope any day and have weak faith. He said, because I want to know what I'm holding on to has nothing to do with me. Go ahead. Go ahead. He said, see, son, I didn't have to think on that question. He said, because I remember, I remember when you was born, Daddy gave you up. He said, but I held on to what God had promised me. God had promised me that you would grow up and that you would be far better than I've ever, ever been. That you would do the things that I only dreamed of doing. So when the doctors gave you up, I held on to that that did not require that I be what it needed me to be. Can I tell y'all something? I don't care what life deals you. I don't care how weak you may be. But can I tell you, he's always strong. He'll always hold you. He'll never let you go. He'll never leave you, Lord, Lord. I'm out of time, y'all. Let me get you, Lord. Father, pray it down. Every eye closed. Believers all around the world are praying. Father, we thank you, Father. For your word on today, Lord. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to break ground, Lord. We know we have a whole lot more to cover. We haven't even put a dent in this thing, Lord. We know we got a lot to cover. But, Father, I thank you for your grace and your mercy now. I thank you, Father, for the grace that allows me to know, although you will forgive me and you will let me go, because I love you, I choose not to do wrong. Father, I thank you right now, Lord, for souls being saved all around the world. I thank for minds being renewed all around the world, here, there, and everywhere. And Father, last but not least, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. 
that Holy Spirit, you will intercede on our behalf for those things that we know not to pray for. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, amen. Amen.